Good morning and welcome back to another edition of Rise and Shine Yoga. I'm Paul, the owner of Oxford Yoga Studio here in beautiful downtown Oxford. I want to welcome you back to doing some yoga. So as we usually do, I want you to sit at the front of your mat, legs crossed. We're going to bring our palms together in front of our heart. We're going to close our eyes. Before we continue with our practice, it's always a good idea to dedicate our practice or offer up our practice to someone or group of people in need. By doing this, we generate what's called good karma into the world, good thoughts, good vibes. So not only will you benefit from your practice this morning, but your intention, your offering, is going to get all the benefits of your practice as well. And so with your intention made, we're just going to bow our chin to our chest, sealing in this intention, knowing we can come back to it at any time during our practice, if our mind, our body, our breath... Maybe it isn't working the way we think it should. Just by coming back to this intention, hopefully it will give you the inspiration to continue to do the very best you can in your practice. And at the end of the day, that's all that is asked, that we do the very, very best we can. And we gently come back up. Let's get that nice, strong breath, that what we call yoga breath. Nice, deep inhale through the nose and the exhale through the nose. Our breath should be nice and strong, under control. We never want to be out of breath, rushing the breath. So if you notice as we go through our practice, your breath starts to get all over the place. Just kind of settle it down, get it under control. And that's really yoga, just getting our breath nice and under control. So continuing with our practice, take your right hand by your left ear. We're just going to gently guide the right ear toward the right shoulder, just stretching out this left side of the neck. And release your head back to center. This time take your left hand, bring it by your right ear. I'm just going to gently guide the left ear toward the left shoulder. And we're just stretching out this right side of the neck. And release your head back to center. Then we're just going to bow our chin to our chest, stretching out the back and the neck. And gently bring your head back up. This time, take your, take your hands behind your back. We're going to interlace our fingers. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe look up to the sky as we stretch out the front part of our chest. And gently release, bring your hands in front of you, interlace the fingers, press the palms forward, and we're just going to sit back, round the back. And gently come up. This time take your right hand behind your right hip, your left hand onto the right knee. We're just going to gently twist over to the right. Sitting up nice and tall.
and gently come back to center. I'm going to take a left hand behind the left hip, right hand onto the left knee. We're just going to gently twist over to the left. And then gently come back to center. This time take your right hand outside your right hip. Inhale the left arm up. And we're just going to reach it over the left ear as we lean over to the right, stretching out the left side of our abdomen. And slowly come back up. This time take the left hand outside the left hip. Bring the right arm up. We're just going to lean over to the left, stretching out the right side of our abdomen this time. And very gently come back up. And now we're going to come into a kneeling position onto our mat. We're just going to do a few poses just to stretch out the feet. So kneeling on our knees, just take a quick look back, make sure your top of your feet pressed into the mat. And we're just going to sit back on our heels. Now I have to admit, this is probably not the most comfortable pose for people, but it's a good pose for stretching out the top of our feet, ligaments of our ankles. We're on our feet a lot, but I'm not sure we really take care of them in terms of stretching them, making sure that they're as healthy as they can be. And then gently come back up to kneeling. This time, get on your tippy toes or balls of your feet and see if you can bring the feet close together. And then we're going to sit back on our heels again. This time we're stretching out the bottom of our foot. There's a muscle under the foot called the plantaris. So you may have heard the term plantar fasciitis, and that's the muscle that's irritated. So this is a really good stretch of just kind of stretching that out. And again, it's not the most comfortable, so. I'll gently come up to kneeling. This ends our first segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. Take a quick break, take a breath, get some water, and we'll continue with our practice of Rise and Shine Yoga in the next segment. Hello, I'm Elgin Nichols, and I'm here to invite you to watch our weekly calendar of events on Charter 191 and AT&T Channel 99. Learn what local events are going on, and if you have a special event that you want our viewing audience to know about, call us at our TV station at 248-628-9658, or you can locate our dates and times for our program broadcast by going to our website, occtv.org. See you there. Oxford Orion Fish helps provide emergency aid to the people of Oxford, Lake Orion, Addison, and Oakland Townships. One of the only self-serve food banks in the state, Oxford Orion Fish provides once-a-month food supplies based on the size of the family. To donate, volunteer, or to find out more, call Oxford Orion Fish at 248-628-3933 or go to their website, OxfordOrionFish.org. Oxford Orion Fish, neighbors helping neighbors. Welcome back to our next segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. So starting in our kneeling position, kneeling on the left knee, bring your right foot out into a lunge, on top of your hands on your right thigh. We're just going to lean forward. And gently come back up. And then we're going to kneel on the right knee. We're going to bring the left foot out into a lunge. 
hands on top of the left thigh. We're just going to lean forward again. And gently come back up to kneeling. Then we're coming to tabletop, hands and knees pose, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Then we're gonna bring the big toes of our feet together. Sit back on our heels, extend the arms forward. Maybe the forehead comes to the mat for child's pose. And very gently come back up, hands and knees pose. So now I want you to bring your, if I put this microphone in, bring your knees back an inch or two, and lift up the hips, uncurl the toes, press the heels toward the ground for down dog. You want to lift up one heel than the other, just kind of bicycling the feet, stretching out the back of the calves. Look between the hands, bend the knees, walk, step your feet to the front. And then we're going to inhale, come all the way up, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, palms together. So today I'm going to introduce you a couple poses that I don't think we've ever done before on Rise and Shine Yoga. Um, this first one's called Triangle Pose. And so to get into it, what we're going to do is we're just going to bring our right foot back have our left foot at the front of the mat and your left foot's pointed toward the front of the mat and your right foot kind of can put it in a little bit. We'll bring our arms out to a T. And we're going to inhale and really reach your right hand or left hand to the front of the mat. And as we exhale, we bring our left hand to the floor or the shin or the ankle. And then we just spin our right arm open. This is called triangle. It's a twist and it's a balance pose. Then I want you to look down at your mat, and just using your core, we're going to press ourselves back up to a T. And we're just going to step the right foot to meet the left and come to the front of the mat. So as always in yoga, in the majority of our yoga poses, we work both sides. So now we'll just do the other side. So this time your right foot's going to be at the front of the mat, and your toes pointed to the front of the mat. You're going to step your left foot back a little bit, and your left foot's probably going to be at a 45 degree angle. We're going to bring our arms out to a T. And again, as we inhale, we're going to really reach the right hand toward the front of your mat. And as we exhale, we bring it either to the foot or the ankle or the shin or the floor. And then we just spin the left arm open. Just do it on the other side. Now look down at your mat, just using your core, press yourself up to a T, and step your left foot to meet the right, and come to the front of the mat. So that's triangle pose, it's kind of a half balance, half twist. So now we're going to do another pose called side angle pose. And so again, we're going to do each side. So we're just going to start at the front of the mat, we're going to step our right foot back, and again your right foot's probably at a... 45 degree angle. This time we're going to put a lunge here in the left knee. And we're going to take our left forearm, 
We're going to press it into the top of our left thigh, and then we're going to inhale the right arm up, and really reaching this right arm over our right ear, reaching it toward the front of the mat, stretching out the right side of our abdomen, really pressing our left forearm into our left thigh. And very gently looking at your <coughs> mat, using your core, coming back up to a T, straighten the left leg, and then we're just going to step the right foot to meet the left, come to the front of the mat. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we'll just do the other side. Standing at the front of the mat, palms together, we're going to step our right foot or left foot back. Maybe the left foot's at a 45 degree angle. We're going to put a little lunge here in the right leg, and then we're going to take the right forearm. Place it on top of the right thigh. We're going to inhale the left arm up, and really reaching it over the left ear, really pressing our right forearm into our right thigh, really stretching out this left side of the abdomen. Using your core, looking down at your mat, press yourself back up to a T, straighten the right leg, and we're going to step the left foot to meet the right, come to the front of the mat. So those are two <coughs> good poses, they're kind of balanced, some balance, some twisting, some stretching out the area around our abdomen. So this ends our second segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. Take a quick break, get some water. And we'll see you back in our closing episode or closing sequence of Rise and Shine Yoga. Hi, I'm Elgin Eccles. And I'm Terry Styles. Did you know that Charter Channel 191 and AT&T Channel 99 are the only television stations you can find all the events and news just for you? Oxford News This Week is your news closer to home. Catch us right here weekdays at noon, 6.30 and 11 p.m. and weekends at noon and 11 p.m. See, See you, you there. there. Welcome back to our final segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. I'm going to finish off with some seated poses. So the first one, just have your legs extended, have your toes pulled to you. Bring your hands on the outside of your hips. Press your palms firmly into the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Gaze is level. Legs are engaged. And then we're going to inhale the arms up. As you exhale, reach towards your toes. You can grab toes or maybe the ankle or shin. I'm going to keep a flat back. And gently release, come back up. <clears throat> this time extend your right leg out to the side. Bring the sole of your left foot on the inside of the left, or the sole of your left foot on the inside of your right uh, leg. Your right toes are pointing to the sky. You want to just turn your torso to face the right foot. Bring the hands behind your hips. Press yourself forward. We're going to inhale the arms up. As we exhale, reach. We grab toes, ankles, shin. Keeping a flat back.
and gently release, come back up. Bring your left knee up, extend both legs straight in front of you. And this time we'll do the other side. Bring the left leg out to the side, sole of the right foot on the inside of the left leg. And again, you may want to turn to face your left foot, hands behind the waist, and just press yourself forward. Inhale the arms up, and then reach, grab toes or ankle or shin. And very gently come back up, extend <coughs> both legs straight. This time I want you to wind your legs a little bit, have the toes pointing to the sky, bring the hands behind the hips, press yourself forward, inhale the arms up, and exhale, reach, bring the hands onto the mats, keeping a flat back. With every inhale and exhale, see if you can reach a little bit farther onto the mat. And very gently come all the way back up. This time make your way to lie all the way onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest, squeezing them in. Maybe rock side to side, massaging your back. And bring your arms out to a T. Just let the knees fall over to the right. And if it's available, you can pick your head up. Take the gaze over the left shoulder for a spinal twist. Higher you bring your legs up towards your forehead or towards your head, the deeper a twist you can get into. Bring the knees, gaze back to center, and let the knees fall over to the left, and maybe pick the head up, pick the gaze over the right shoulder. <clears throat> and again, the more you bring the knees up toward the chest, it just gets you a little deeper into the twist if that's something that you'd like to do. And very gently and slowly bring the knees and the gaze back to center. Hug the knees into the chest, squeezing them in. 
Give yourself a final hug for taking the time this morning to do some yoga, to take care of yourself. And very gently and slowly make your way up to a seated position at the front of your mat. Close your eyes. Bring your palms together in front of your heart and bow your chin to your chest. Coming back to your offering, your intention that you made at the beginning of your practice, knowing that your dedication got all the benefits of your hard work this morning. Just want to thank you for letting me lead you in your practice this morning. Have a great week. And we'll do it again next week for another great edition of Rise and Shine Yoga. And we end our practice with Namaste. Oxford Orient Fish helps provide emergency aid to the people of Oxford, Ligorian, Addison, and Oakland Townships. One of the only self-served food banks in the state, Oxford Orient Fish provides once-a-month food supplies based on the size of the family. To donate, volunteer, or to find out more, call Oxford Orient Fish at 248-628-3933 or go to their website, OxfordOrientFish.org. Oxford Orient Fish, neighbors helping neighbors. Hi, I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Terry Stiles. Did you know that Charter Channel 191 and AT&T Channel 99 are the only television stations you can find all the events and news just for you? Oxford News This Week is your news closer to home. Catch us right here weekdays at noon, 6.30 and 11 p.m. and weekends at noon and 11 p.m. See, See you, you there. there. Oxford Orient Fish helps provide emergency aid to the people of Oxford, Ligorian, Addison, and Oakland Townships. One of the only self-served food banks in the state, Oxford Orient Fish provides once-a-month food supplies based on the size of the family. To donate, volunteer, or to find out more, call Oxford Orient Fish at 248-628-3933 or go to their website, OxfordOrientFish.org. Oxford Orient Fish, neighbors helping neighbors. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the village of Leonard.